Hi, I'm Michael Newark from Trend Profit here. I'm just about to take a trade on Ethereum, that's ETHUSD. There's been a couple of trade alerts already. I've chosen to take this one because price is under pressure. I've got my profit lock targets all set. My uh, stop loss has been set. My targets have been set. And uh, it's overall a downward, tre uh, downward uh, trend daily, weekly, and monthly, five out of six are pointing down. So uh, with this price uh, under pressure, I feel that it's a good trade to take. Okay, so I'm back. I've got a new sell trade. Uh, it's a uh, an, another swing trade or power swing. And uh, price continues to be under pressure and it's just a smidgen away from my profit lock target one. So Normally I like to be uh, have profits locked in before I take an additional trade or additional trades, but uh, in this case, I'll take it. So there we go. We've got our stop executed and our, our three profit lock targets uh, also uh, executed. So these two trades will now be uh, managed completely automatically. I can intervene at any time. And, uh, and I'll just watch this trade for the next uh, short while to see whether I adjust those stops uh, myself um, via the, the, uh, the uh, profit lock target one. Uh, if I change that to in target, then it will immediately lock in profits on both parts of my initial trade. Okay, so this is great. Um, let's see how we go. Okay, so price has broken through profit lock target one. Uh, I expected and hoped it would. You can never be 100% sure in trading or life for that matter. But uh, in this case, it has broken through and my stops have been automatically um, modified to lock in profits on my first trade. I still have my second trade. That's the risk right now. I still have to get profit lock target one for my second trade and um, uh, we'll see how it goes the price continues to remain under pressure and i'm going to watch it from time to time but essentially the system is managing itself now um, i'll be even happier when profit lock target one on my second trade is hit okay so both parts of my trade for the first trade have been taken out for profit. Um, that's the bittersweet thing about locking in profits. Uh, you're adding to your capital, but you've got to say uh, bye to uh, past trades. So I've done that, um, but I've got another uh, sell trade alert for uh, another power swing. Price room continues to remain under pressure. It hasn't moved a lot, um, and we have had a bit of a retracement but I'm going to uh, take this new trade. Okay, so that's entered that trade and my stops have been entered and my profit lock targets one, two, and three are also entered. Um, now these two trades will be managed automatically. Uh, so, Let's see how we go. We've got two trades on the table right now. No profits are locked in. So uh, it, it, it is a time where I want to watch. But we had a retracement and then it came straight back down. So I'm feeling pretty good. Okay, so nice move down. And this is what I was hoping for. Uh, you're making trading decisions in an informed way with a good system like Trend Profiteer. But you can never be a 100% sure. In this case, it has moved down. I've got my profits locked in for my first new trade, and I'm just a smidgen away from locking in profits by hitting profit target number one um, for my second trade. So I can always modify it if I need to. Okay, I'm back. So what I've done is I've um, I've decided to modify the um the the stops because my profit target has not yet been hit but i figure better to be safe than sorry so i've got two trades on the board 
both of them have part trades. So in total, we have four trades going and now I'm locked in. I can sit back and as the next profit lock target uh, is hit, the system will automatically take over the management of the system again. And that's the nice thing you can have. Um, you can have full intervention, full control over the over the system. Uh, all my indicators are, are looking on the right side of the trade for this, so I'm getting increasingly confident in uh, in shorting this. Um, now I, I made profits and added to my capital in the first trade, and then we've got two trades coming right now, all with profits locked in. Okay, so this trade is rocking it's going fantastic um, you can see where I entered um, I want to make sure now that I lock in profits for my uh, for my trade so what I'm doing is I'm reducing the um, the profit lock target to uh, from 50,000 to 40,000 on both parts of the trade so I'm going to click OK and uh, that's moved my um, my profit lock targets and you can see stops have already been moved on the first trade uh, so in a moment we'll have the same occur on the second trade um, and you know it, it's never a bad thing to lock on profits so um, right now I'm I'm in profit um, I uh, can basically sit back and relax. I've I almost target to, even though it's not as far or not as big uh, as the profit to target was before. It's still a really, really good thing. So, um, you know, no one ever got broke by locking in profits. That's all I can say. Um, I, uh, I won't go on with that. But what I'll do now is, uh, is just modify the second move profit lock target to a little bit more. And you can get in and get out of your settings all the time throughout the trade. And it's not going to muck up the, the management of that trade. Um, click OK now. OK. And there you go. So profit locks have moved again. Stops have moved again. Uh, and now I'm in a good place. So I may still look at modifying the, um, the next profit lock target. Um, that's uh, the third profit lock target. We'll see how we go. But price is under pressure. I've got profits locked in. Doing great. Uh, catch you on the next video. Okay, I've moved my uh, profit lock target three where my trailing will begin. And uh, I think that's a good thing. It's always good to lock in profits. Uh, I feel that the that the um, the third target was placed a little too far. So I've moved it a little little closer. We'll see if it gets hit. Still no guarantee, but it's safer. Okay, profit lock target three has been hit. So this is getting really exciting. I just turned on uh, the uh, the news before and everyone is, uh, is very upset, but I'm really happy because I was in the trade. That's the great thing. My, my, uh, my, uh, my profits are locked in for all parts of my trade and I've actually got two trades going at the same time. Uh, so four split trades between those two trades. Uh, I'm, I'm a smidgen away from hitting profit lock target three of my second trade. Uh, I can always modify that if I need to, but it's so close. I'm just going to let it ride for now and uh, all my profits are locked in. Wow. Profit lock target three has now been hit for my second trade. Uh, so all four split trades between those two trades are now locked in. And, uh, you know, it's a great position to be in. I've made a ton of pips. Uh, so that's really fantastic for my account balance. 
you can see uh, I've got my stops placed at uh, round two four um, and just up at around two five and then two six and actually the last trade I just left it at uh, where it was on the system at 2670. Uh, so I can always modify the trades. So I can always intervene. But right now, I'm just sitting back. Three targets have been hit. It's been a huge amount of pips that have flowed into my account. Uh, while other people are huddling and uh, you know, crying because the value of their uh, crypto has gone down, I mean, look at the weekly. I mean, who knows how low this thing can go? It could go down a lot lower, and I am in the trade. I'm following it now. I'm going to stalk it with my trailing methodologies. And some of these trades really can go a lot further than you expect. Uh, that's the nature of trading, and uh, that's what I want to get in on. Hey, so here we are back on Ethereum. Price uh, has moved to, uh, what are we, around 2,175. You can see my stops are placed. So I've got profits locked in. Uh, that's the name of the game. When the price is moving down, you want to be selling. When the price is moving up, you want to be buying. And you always want to be locking in profits uh, at appropriate times. So my uh, stops now are trailing the price on different trailing methodologies. Let's see how we go. Okay, so price has just absolutely crashed. Uh, it's currently sitting at 1900, but it got down quite a bit lower, down to around uh, 1700. Uh, that's, um, that's just an amazing move. And that's why I'm... Uh, so excited about crypto i got in at around 2800 and uh, then again on another power swing at uh 20 just over 2700 and uh you know it's dropped hugely uh, currently at around 1900 uh had gone even lower than that you can see my stop is is it around 2400 and 2500 uh so my profits are, are locked in i'm going to continue to trail the uh the trade on the trailing methodologies that it's set up on and trend profit has um several different trailing methodologies after the delayed move uh profit lock targets are hit so whatever happens my profits are locked in and uh you know that's how the way it goes in trading always lock in your profits okay so i just wanted to um do another quick recording this is the same day but uh, i just wanted to show you there's my first trade that's been closed out uh so made some nice pips on that and it's the old story in trading no one ever got broke locking in profits that's what you need to do all the time no matter how far you think the trade is going to go sometimes it doesn't go uh as far as you would like these are my three trades that are still open i've got this one here at um it's on 534 dollars profit that's a 0.6 lot uh I've got another one at $334 profit and then another one at $503 profit. Um, so, um, you know, these are just reasonable 0 0.6 and 0 0.4 uh, lots based on the split trades, two trades per, um, per trade. Uh, what I do is I split that one trade into two trades and then I can trade both um, conservatively and aggressively at the same time. So I just wanted to show you that real quick, how much money you can make uh, using a good trading system. Okay, so we've had price uh, move up a little bit currently at 2,066. My part trade uh, is still here and it's moved in accordance with the, um, the moving average, which is its trailing methodology. The other two trades are now following the parabolic SAR, which is it's uh, which is their 
uh, trailing methodology. I can change those at any time if I want to loosen the stops or tighten the stops uh, depending on how the trade is going. That's one of the great things. It's um, smart intelligence that you can work with, um, have complete control over and, and intervene whenever you feel necessary. Alrighty, another day, another move by my stops. Uh, my first part of my trade is uh, trailing using the moving average, the 7MA, and my other parts of the trade are uh, moving in accordance with the uh, parabolic sale or PSAR. So you can see I entered the trade around 2,800 and then again at 2,750 uh, on Ethereum, and it's currently 2,080. And uh, well, that's where my, my profits are locked in for the first part of my trade and the second part at uh, around 2,300. So really good profits locked in there. Um, huge moves on, uh, on crypto, particularly in Bitcoin and Ethereum. You can see that uh, there is great potential if you're on the right side of the trade and you're always taking profits. So... Uh, I'm going to continue this trade. Let's see how we go. Okay, so another part of my trade has been taken out for profit. My trade management is in place. You can see here, um, got out at around 2100. So uh, that's a huge amount of pips. We had a bit of a price retracement, but my other parts of my trade are still in and they're following the um well i can make them follow anything i want the trailing methodologies in the trend profit so software is um is comprehensive but normally i follow by the um by the moving average you can see here we got in at around 2800 it got down as low as uh, 1700 and it's currently price is currently sitting at around 2140 and um that's uh, just under that 20, 2080 was where we got taken out. Uh, so a huge amount of pips. My other trades are, uh, are still running on this um, on this trade. And uh, uh, at this stage, I'm just letting the system do its thing and hope for the best. Okay, another day, another move by our, um, our system it's it's nice to know that uh, the system is following the trade and managing it so you don't have to um, all you've got to do is you know check in every now and again see how it's going intervene if necessary but normally it does the whole thing for you we can see here that um, that uh, price is going pretty flat and we got in around that 2750 2800 uh, and uh, it's created a, a huge amount of pips already. We just uh, want to see how far price can go, see if we can retest that low. All right, be back soon. Okay, another day, and uh, we've got a nice move in our direction. Um, it's come down to, well, we've got our stop at around that 20, 21.50. Uh, sorry, 2100 mark, and price is currently 1959. So, uh, you know, if it keeps on going this way, I'll be very happy. If it goes against us, then we've still generated a heap of pips getting in at 2800 and 2750. Um, you can see there that um, the stop, I'd like it to continue to move downwards, but that's not up to me, it's up to the market. Unless I want to just take it out now and um, I can certainly do that but let's see how it goes I think this trade has still got a lot of move to run uh, it's um, it's downward overall and uh, you can see on the weekly chart there there's a lot of room for um, for movement to the downside so whatever happens in this trade um, unless something radical happens to the uh, to the country I'll be looking at other downward uh, trade opportunities so just flick it back to the daily and um, and uh, so let's see how we go tomorrow uh, this is getting exciting 
Okay, so another day, uh, another move with the Trend Profiteer system. Price really is, it's going up and down and up and down. Basically, it's going sideways. So I wouldn't want to be trading this on the shorter term uh, time frames. That's how traders get caught in a bloodbath. Uh, the, the moves are too small. So my suggestion is always to look at those uh, those bigger time frames like the daily. And you can see that the... Um, that the stop has moved again. And um, so again, we, we, we got in around 2800, 2750, and it's currently at um, 2100. So that's a fantastic, uh, fantastic amount of pips. And um, I think there's a still a long way to go. We've got the, the bottom there at around 1700. So let's see if we can retest that. Um, time will tell. Uh, so, you know, this is all about patience now. Okay, another day has gone past uh, and price is on the move again. It's down to 19.57. That's um, that's a good sign. Let's see if it breaks down this time. Uh, you know, we've been on in this trade for for quite a while now. We got in around 2800 and 2750, and uh, we could have gotten even even earlier. Stops are at, uh, around 2100, and price is currently in 1950. Uh, you know. It's not about always looking for new trades, but hanging on to the trades that you have and making the most from those trades. The low here was around 1700. So I'm still uh, looking at seeing if we can if we can retest that level. If we do and it goes below that, then it's going to be fantastic. But only time will tell. Okay, so price still is hanging in there. It's been about 25 days since we entered this uh, this trade, and we've made a ton of pips on this one. I'm really happy with it. Currently, it's sitting at around $2,000, uh, the price, and again, we got in at $2,800 and $2,750, uh, $2,740 thereabouts. So, uh, what can I say? The market is just going sideways. My stop has been... Um, has been adjusted numerous times. Um, I would have liked to uh, have seen another drop by now, but we've, we're in this consolidation. It is just going flat. Um, but the good news is I have my pips locked in. Okay, that's it. Um, the trade is finished. Um, you can see here it was made up of two split trades each one having two parts uh, you can use any combination as far as the percentage goes and you can see uh what do we make four eight ten eleven uh twelve uh close to about thirteen hundred close to thirteen hundred got on around twenty eight hundred wrote it down to around two thousand the market was going crazy everyone was well a lot of people were crying particularly the the the, the hodlers um you know the hold on for dear life is um, not necessarily the best way to go, especially in a, a downward cycle when the market's going down. Why would you want to hold? Anyway, uh, trading is is definitely a good way to do it. And you can see here my my indicators are still suggesting that um, that there could be a new trade opportunity. That's certainly what I'll be looking for. Um, I'm looking particularly on the daily for that uh, MACD to turn red. It is under the zero line. Everything else is pointing down. My overall trend is down. Uh, so it's been a while since the inception of the trade, but let's see how far we can take this.